I'm Crystal Whiteshield. I am the Director of Community Organizing and Equity at the Missoula Food Bank and Community Center. And I'm one of the organizers involved with Common Good Missoula. Funds from the Women's Giving Circle will be used by five of our anchor institutions, which include Missoula Food Bank and Community Center, All Nations Health Center, North Missoula Community Development Corporation, Partnership Health Center, and Missoula Interfaith Collaborative to provide honorariums to BIPOC community members engaged in our work. As we organize and engage everyday people in our anti-racism work, it is our responsibility to compensate BIPOC leaders for their expertise. We are asking those who experience systemic oppression to help dismantle these systems that they did not build. It is real and emotional labor for which our BIPOC neighbors deserve tangible acknowledgement. Each institution provides honorariums in different ways, but all funds from the Women's Giving Circle will ultimately end up in the hands of BIPOC citizen leaders doing the hard work of dismantling racism and racist systems and policies in our community. Common Good Missoula is working across nearly 40 institutions, churches, neighborhoods, unions, and nonprofit communities to decolonize Missoula. We are conducting this effort alongside indigenous leaders around our region who have worked with our lead organizers to create a workshop called Wrestling with the Truth of Colonization, which we're planning to offer early in spring of 2021. Nothing like this workshop has been offered before. It is a deep exploration of indigenous culture and what colonization impacted. The focus comes from an indigenous perspective. It forces community members and institutions to reflect, experience, and commit to repairing relationships. As part of these efforts, for example, the Catholic parishes across all of Missoula, the Methodists, and others have agreed to work together with us to really wrestle with their historical impacts on their indigenous neighbors and commit to making space for healing. As another example, at least 30 educators are committed to this work as well. At this point, we anticipate 300 to 500 people in Missoula attending our workshop and really wrestling with the truth of colonization. The work we are facilitating is real, deep, and honestly gives me chills to realize that we are creating a path for true reconciliation to occur. Howdy, I'm Benny Lacayo. I'm a citizen leader within Common Good Missoula and a member of Welcome Back. Common Good Missoula empowers people across Missoula to work together to help make changes that reflects the needs of everyday people. Our work includes people from neighborhoods, congregations, and unions. And we work to amplify the voices of those commonly left out in policymaking, like BIPOC voices and people from lower income homes. We empower individuals to act, to not only help our community understand the pressures of everyday people, but to come together to do something about it in an organized way. That's how we build power together. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm a neighbor in the Franklin to Fort neighborhood and I work with Decolonized Missoula with Common Good Missoula. The long-term outcomes of the work of Common Good Missoula are that more everyday people help to shape policies and practices in our community. We are working to amplify BIPOC voices at tables where decisions are made and policy is set. We need a community where my and other BIPOC people's voices are heard, where leadership is representative of our whole community. With funds from the Women's Giving Circle, we will offer honorariums to BIPOC leaders, acknowledging their hard work and needed change. The long-term impacts of Common Good Missoula's anti-racist work is policy change that is led and informed by BIPOC leaders, which makes our community more just and equitable.